This safari camp is the newest one in Kenya and probably the newest one in the world. <laughs> it's honestly the most luxurious and beautiful camp I have ever seen yet. So we're gonna start off with a room tour. It's dark outside, so tomorrow morning we'll show you our view. But it's like they took every best aspect of a camp and put it in one. I don't think there's anything missing. So, let me start off by going. In the morning, I, actually you might not even get wake up because you're gonna see in a second. But if you order any food or anything, it actually comes in here. So there's like a no contact delivery so they don't have to come in the room if you're just in a rope, whatever. This, they got me. They got me with this. So you have an espresso coffee machine with even a milk frother. Yes, you heard that right. A smeg kettle, a whole bunch of tea, all the wine glasses we could ever want, a mini bar fridge, our cups. Like I, this, I want this in my house. Can we have this in my house? That, that'd be great. Okay, we have a desk. We have on either side this um, plugs. So I'm getting very excited. And this is a really cool thing. I didn't know this was a thing. Your color pencils, at the tip of them they have seeds. So like this is for marigolds and this is for mu mustard. Apparently you can plant mustard. Didn't know that. Okay, hold on. I'm getting, I gotta, gotta make this quicker. Beautiful safe, oh. So you get slippers that you can actually take home with you and they're fully recycled. These here are made from Kenya Airways um, seats in their plane. And then this is tire. How cool is that? King size bed, absolutely gorgeous, stunning. We have an amazing seating area here and actually there's two books and this is one of their, actually two of their favorites. So they're kind of like inspirational, I guess. I'm kind of excited to try and read those out, if we have time. Over here, a vanity, beautiful vanity. Keeps getting better, just wait. Beautiful rain, rainfall shower, double sink here. You come over here, a toilet. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go. So you come outside, don't want to let the buggies in. You have a second outdoor shower and I already see the stars, like how amazing it's that. But this, this is what they're gonna have set up for when we come back. So I'm not gonna explain much other than it's a beautiful tub and we're gonna see more of it later. And we're gonna show you the rest of the outside tomorrow just because I feel like if I show you now, it's probably not gonna do it justice. We haven't even seen our view to be honest. So we're hungry. We got stuck in traffic for like two hours. So we're gonna go eat some food. Ready? Yes. Let's go. If the food is half as good as this place looks, it's gonna be an amazing meal. So we're gonna go for supper. It's very late for us. Like it's almost like it's 8.35. It's not very Canadian of us. Normally we eat at 5.30, so we're starving, but thanks traffic. So what we're gonna see tomorrow when we do like a full tour of the property is there's actually, I think there's like three bridges or there's a lot of bridges basically because they didn't destroy any of the land around. So they kept it and they've actually planted more trees than what was here when they first arrived. So they're very eco-conscious, eco-friendly, and we're gonna learn a lot more about that tomorrow. Oh, 
Okay, so we're gonna test it the first bite. I got my Neoki something. Mm -hmm. It looks ridiculously good. It is. <laughs> oh my goodness. Are you serious? <laughs> he told you. <laughs> Unbelievable. This is the perfect way to end the night. So even though we just arrived, we can already tell that this place is just so unique and we didn't even see it in daylight. No. And something that I've noticed, like, so when they're showing us around, it's basically there's so much thought put into everything. Like, some even have, like, a background meaning, which we can go over some of that tomorrow. Um, otherwise, we cannot wait to see what it looks like tomorrow morning. And the food was phenomenal mm -hmm. like one of the best meals that we've had like safari camp aside like just meals in, in, general. in general in our lives yeah so we're gonna enjoy this bath and it's already like 10 30 and we have to get up at 5 30 <laughs> so we're gonna enjoy this and see you in the morning i'm so excited for tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> so we just got wake up call and they drop off some coffee and things in our little hatch let's see what we have Oh, nice cappuccino with some pastry and some foam of lining. So these croissants are not star-bought or anything like that. They actually bought a special oven that they sent all the way to the Masamara so they can make their own fresh croissant every morning. And they're very good. Now let's go for a first game drive and it's going to be good because this camp is actually inside the Masamara National Reserve. So I heard so many lines in the distance last night. Very, very far. Yeah. But still like constant. And with what Tracy's wearing, we're probably going to see the cheetahs. <laughs> <laughs> Did not know hippos could run, so you know, learn things every day. Guys, I really thought that was it. The three brothers started to run, one leading the two other ones. One of the Thompson gazelle was actually like limping, so I really thought we were gonna see a kill, but. That uh, little Thompson gazelle completely forgot that it was limping when it started to run. So the famous five brothers, they're five brothers of cheetahs and yeah, they're just kind of known in the Mara. So a while ago, one left, so they were down to four. And then rumor is that he tried to come back not too long ago and the four actually ganged up and actually killed him. Um, and then literally, I don't even know, don't quote me on facts here, but probably about a month later, another one died. I don't think they really know how, but now the famous five brothers are only three. I think they did a post-mortem or something mm -hmm. after he died, and they said, they said the bites were from a lioness. Uh, okay. So people okay. said it's a croc uh, that killed him, but I think it was a lioness. This airstrip right there is about 10 minutes from the camp, so if you don't want to be stuck in traffic like us, you can fly here. So there's actually a male lying down in the riverbed, and they have a baby elephant. And I know it's a circle of life, but I don't know how I feel about baby elephants. They're eating baby elephants. This rumor maybe killed it, or maybe it was just born, like stillborn, but it's so sad. 
So normally when you stop for coffee, you have your pressed coffee, which is still good coffee. But no, here when you come to Ashara, they stop the truck, they pull out a full on Nespresso machine, plug it in, and a cappuccino. I mean, it doesn't get better than that. We even have freshly baked cookies and muffins to go with the coffee. These guys are pretty much a Starbucks on the go. Time to head back to camp. Peter really wants Tracy to uh, to sing a song, but Tracy says that uh, she doesn't know any song. You know what one I'm gonna. Do. <laughs> I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. <laughs> Only a hippopotamus will do. <laughs> the only song you know. Exactly. It's perfect. Okay, so no, this is not a Land Rover, but in terms of Land Cruiser, this is as good as it gets. Those ones are brand new. The seats are just so comfortable. Very like luxurious feel. There's a nice fridge in the back with all the drinks that you can imagine. And again, I mean, there's an espresso coffee machine. I don't even like coffee and I think this is super impressive. Okay. Thanks for the drive. Okay. Thank You're you. You're welcome. See you later. No, when Tracy said yesterday that there is bridges everywhere here connected basically the three islands that is part of the property. And this here is the biggest bridge they have. It's a little bouncy, but I like it. It's so like, I don't know, safari-like. So now that it's daytime, you can see our belt. <laughs> We overlook the river. We have a beautiful daybed lounger here with some chairs. And that's a bathtub that we had a bath in last night. And then you go around the corner, it's the shower like you saw. But, man, this place, I'm speechless. So for lunch, we're gonna have it by the pool. And um, stay posted later because those chairs that look very big and lumpy and look like they sink like a rock, let's find out. So lunch was amazing, as good as yesterday's supper. Like the food here, like I'm telling you guys, like it's unreal, especially for a safari camp. Like I haven't even had a meh. No, everything was like an 11 out of 10. Yeah. So now we're gonna do something that we have never done and probably will never do again and in a safari camp. And the only reason we're doing this is because we've seen pictures and it looks fantastic. So unique, yeah. So let's, let's go, go check it out. <laughs> let's, let's go, go to, to the, the gym. gym. <laughs> So if you guys know me, you guys know how much I love working out. And this gym here is one of the main reasons why this cam caught my attention because this equipment is something that I've never seen before. This is like true luxurious workout equipment. It's all wood, dark wood. It's, it's just very, very good quality and good looking equipment and I love it. So after a little workout, it's time to jump in the pool, which is needed because it is hot out today. Remember when earlier I said their lawn furniture may or may not sink like a rock? We're gonna test it out. So far so good. Oh, that looks dangerous. <laughs> there you go. That's pretty fantastic. Well, it's true. They float. <laughs> so after a little workout, a uh, good time in the pool with those little floating things. You Might guys, have got a little burn. there's a few things that we didn't film. Like going on them was a, a little bit of a challenge, but it was Actually, very funny. I think there's some pictures. <laughs> yeah, there Insert is. Insert pictures yeah. here. If we get them, yeah, hopefully there is. And I like laughed so hard. Yeah. So now after all of this, little pick me up, mm -hmm. which uh, they actually bought for me and put in the fridge. So I really appreciate that. Yeah. And now we're gonna go out with uh, Eric, the resident photographer. So that is something that they're offering here. I don't know if you noticed earlier, but they actually have a little sticker that says uh, official like Canon partner yeah. uh, on their truck because they are. They actually partner with Canon. They have a bunch of Canon equip equipment. They even have a full-on photo studio so eric is their professional photographer so we're gonna go out with him and hopefully pick his brain nerd out a little bit on camera and learn as well so this afternoon we are out for a little photo lesson as usual we have peter the best driver around 
We have Eric, a real photographer. Like, real look at this lens. This guy's a professional for sure. And he let me borrow this one, which is fantastic. <laughs> she knows how to use it. Well, well you're supposed to teach her. <laughs> Thank you so much. Great teacher. <laughs> we'll see the photos later. I'm on it. <laughs> Just came back from a little game drive where we learned so much about photography. Tracy's running because it's sunset and we don't want to miss it. Sunset's but I highly suggest it. Like if you come here, go with okay. Eric, Eric, take one of the cameras yes. and just learn it's He's so very funny. patient and simple expl explanation can't talk yeah. um yeah and made it so easy to learn highly recommend and it's always fun to like use those like very fancy cameras as well. true true i'll change to a nice outfit as ready as we'll ever be for sundana so when we arrived it was actually nighttime because we got well stuck in traffic and we heard about this fantastic observation deck so we finally have a chance to experience it tonight and it is beautiful. We have sunset over here, overlooking the river and you're elevated up, candles all around. I see some bubbly. It's gonna be a fantastic sundowner. And just in case you're wondering why Eric's here, <laughs> we're gonna have the best thumbnail. He's gonna take some pictures for us, something that we don't have the privilege of doing that often because normally we're on tripods and yeah. all that good Trying stuff. Trying to balance the camera somewhere. Normally falls over. <laughs> Yeah. Th thanks for the pressure, guys. <laughs> thanks for the pressure. <laughs> Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready? And as usual, what is Sundowner without champagne or actually Prosecco? You know, this makes things much better. Now that we've got all the content done that we need it, it's always a rush at sundown because there's so many shots that you want to take. Uh, we're gonna put the camera down, enjoy like a half hour to ourselves before we go eat supper, and yeah, just enjoy each other's company in this beautiful spot. See you guys in a few minutes. I need somebody to love. Oh, oh, no, no. I don't know Let's go for supper. So tonight, instead of having a nice big bath, just because we want to get to bed, we don't really have the time for a bath, um, we're taking advantage of the outdoor shower. And it's hot water, there's not a big breeze coming through, it's fairly sheltered. Can I have this in my house? Can I just loop? Yeah, I'm just gonna loop you, I think. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. And on this, guys, we'll see you in the morning because believe it or not, it is not done. There is so many other things to see, like the photo studio, but Tracy is actually gonna do something tomorrow that I've never heard in my entire life. And it's gonna be weird and very interesting at the same time, so stay posted for that. <laughs> Good morning guys. This morning we are doing a sunrise in another very unique location around the camp. Yeah, so this camp is basically, well it's kind of divided into like three island sections type thing. Mm -hmm. And actually, one of the super smart things that they did is it floods a lot in the Mara during rainy season and everything. Mm -hmm. So they actually connected a bridge from the other side so that way if one side is flooded they can actually still get guests to the airstrip and everything like that. Um, but it has like a 
deeper meaning than that. It's kind of like, okay, you're coming from the Mara and then you're being connected to the camp and vice versa. You're like, people are being connected together and then connecting back into the animal wildlife. So it's really, really nice. Every, and there are like three bridges everywhere, I think? Yeah. Uh, yeah. A little bit more, I think. Yeah. I don't know. We'll, we'll do the tour <laughs> later on. But it's really cool because here at the camp, everything has a deeper meaning. Yeah. Like nothing is just there to be there. So much so. thought put into it. Sun's coming up. It's going to be pretty, I think. <laughs> After we watched a great sunrise, sat down, had another cappuccino because I love cappuccinos. Um, we're gonna do a little bit more of a tour around the rest of the property. So let's go see what we can find. So when we arrived, it was super late. We haven't really seen the rest of the camp. So actually we got dropped off there. I say dropped off, we did drive. Um, this is the reception area. And coming out here, this is the first time I've been out here in the daylight. This table and the elephants is absolutely stunning. So this is your reception area, the first thing you see when you arrive from that way by car. And let's go across the bridge and go see the main area. You have a bar over on this side and David's gonna put a picture of what it looks like at night. It is stunning. The artwork in the front is actually all hand done and each panel that you see actually represents like the skin of each of the animals. So that's really cool. Um, you eat your breakfast and everything over on, I'm gonna swing it around this side um, to be honest we haven't eaten here though because we like to eat outside so we've eaten down by the fire and eaten under the stars which in my opinion is fantastic and then when you come out here like I said this is where we had supper our first night so you have a little seating area that we actually had like a cappuccino after sunrise this morning but when you come out it all overlooks the river so even down there where we had supper last night there's a fire pit and everything the suspension bridge that you saw us on sunrise this morning over there over to the other side so i hear there's a farm here so let's go check out the farm this is ishara shamba of goodness my name is james this is the place that we grow 95% uh, less water and without soil. Wow. So, welcome to this beautiful garden. This is like licorice. <laughs> I cannot allow you to come again here because <laughs> you'll. <laughs> <laughs> we'll eat it all. <laughs> James, thank you so much for the farm tour and thank you for your passion. Kare You're very busana. passionate, that's awesome. Kare thank you. Time for a bush breakfast. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Um, I'll be your guide for today. My name is Azar. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Feast your ears out. Listen for the signs. Let's see what nature has in store for us. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Azar is one of the co-founders, so when you come here, don't expect him to drive you around unless you have a special request, which I'm sure he'll, he'll be, it's, it's gonna be a pleasure for him to spend a few game drive with you, but just, just on special demands. <laughs> It was a great push breakfast, we're on our way back and I hear there's something that I've never done before. So let's see what it's like. signature treatment it's called the red river treatment sorry who's we the treatment that i have 
<laughs> and you wouldn't have sat anyway for two hours. So it's two hour long treatment. You start, um, I had a coconut scrub in the beginning, which was amazing. Um, then you get a shower and then you get a bath with basically red wine in it and grape seed and there's something else. Um, then after that you soak in the tub, you get a quick shower again, and then you get a massage. And I feel so fantastic right now. But yeah, highly recommend. Sorry, I'm half out of it because I'm half asleep. <laughs> you need to do it. This is my temporary office that I uh, set up uh, while Tracy was having the treatment. So you get a power cord, my gear and memory cards, little chair, and my, my new desk. Tracy's life is much more glamorous than mine. So welcome to the Canon Photo Studio here at Ishara. So here we have a wall with beautiful photos that were taken and when guests are coming here, taking good photos, doing a good edit, they have the chance to go on that wall so something cool to aspire for. Then after that, they have all the equipment that you can imagine to really edit your photo like a professional, like this brand new Apple M1 computer, like I would really like one of those. And then after that, when you're happy with the photo and your edit, they have this Canon printer where you can actually print the, the photo that you took and edited it to bring it back home. And that's a super nice souvenir. And those with a very fancy camera from Canon that you can actually bring out on Safari to, well, Become a professional photographer, nothing less. Also at Ishara, we give all our guests the opportunity to take our cameras subject to availability. This is a typical guest kit. It's a 6D Mark II with 100 to 400. And we also include the 16 to 35 millimeter. So with this lens, they could capture all their moments at bush breakfast or family photos in general. And with this, they could get their telephoto wildlife shots. Another thing is that the camera also gives them the opportunity to print images like that when they get back home, wherever that may be in the world. So they get to actually do up a wall and take home tangible memories from tomorrow. So Ishara, what an experience. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no words. <laughs> I do, I literally get lost for words. Um, all I can say is basically, if you're looking for the most luxurious, all well-rounded, great game drives, great relaxation at the same time yeah. unbelievable yeah unbelievable staff big big like, shout out to their chef yeah the food was outstanding the mm -hmm. best food we've ever had in a safari camp for sure and some of the best yeah too. and some of the best food we've ever had period to be honest yeah. um so i met the chef earlier and i told him i was like this is not for the camera this is for you like this food everything yeah. we had was outstanding yeah so there's literally nothing negative to say about this no place. you you just have to come see for yourself you have to experience it for yourself and i think one of the biggest things that gets me too don't get me wrong like without it it's still fantastic mm -hmm. but the attention to detail like almost everything has a story yeah a lot of stories yeah. a lot of just the small details really adds up to create yeah. that perfect experience we to this day, this is our 25th safari camp. So when we tell you guys that this is the as good as it gets, this trust us, like we gets. have some experience. Yeah. So overall, well-rounded, 10 out of 10, would recommend to I'm anyone, to if say. you have one safari, you're doing one safari in your entire life, this is the camp to come to. The camp is perfect, yeah. and it's in a very good location in the Masimara, well, where you're gonna get a lot of, uh, of different animals as well. So it's, it's a win-win. Yeah. And I think we just might have to come back. That would be cool. There's one more thing here that we didn't do. No. So I'll see you guys <laughs> in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs> see ya. See ya. Bye. <laughs> see ya. Safe drive. Thank, Thank you. you.